Hey guys, what's going on? TTL here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the esports plays for May 8th, 2022. And this should be a fairly short video compared to my others because there's not many games going on. There's only three games included on prize picks, and there's only six players total for maps one and two, and then the same six for map three in case it goes that far. Um, I'm actually only interested in the first two games. So we have uh, WK versus ILL, and the odds of this game are minus 222 for Wizzler Krakow and plus 155 for ILL. Then we have Offset versus Saw, which is plus 190 for Offset and minus 260 for Saw. And then we have Eternal Fire, which are minus 10,000 versus Smode, who are plus 1,000. So the odds being this much in favor makes me not really favor this. Just because it could be a blowout, um, both maps could be a blowout. I do love both of the players. So I believe it's Zantares and Emore that are uh, the plays on prize picks currently. And I love both of those players, but I cannot take an over knowing that there's a high probability for a blowout. So, I mean, I would have to take the under there and there's just no way I'm going to take an under, especially on Zantares. So that game is just taken out for me, uh, which leaves four players. And I just gave my preference on all four because I believe that there is a little bit of a uh, a gap there with the prize picks lines compared to what I believe they can get. So first we'll go over Snatchy, right? And Snatchy's been dominating it lately. Um, and his prize picks line is set at 39.5. He's been averaging 21.4 kills per map over the last 10. He's been absolutely crushing it lately. And the game odds, I believe, should be closer. So, I mean, I think this can easily go 26, 27 rounds. Um, and with that being said, I just, I just love his over. Um, you can look at his past few games. And I mean, 23, 22, 26, 23, 23. He's had some games where it's like 19, 18, 20. And I mean, if he misses, it will be a tilting miss, I believe. Um, I believe the minimum kills he gets is like 38, which would be like a two miss. Um, but I believe he gets closer to 44 to 45 versus ILL just because he is on the preferred team as well. They are favorites. So I believe it could be like a 16 to 9, 16 to 10 win. And in that case, I do believe that he gets enough kills. Um, you can see even right here, they won 16 to three in this matchup. There were only 19 rounds played on this map and he still got 22 kills. Um, I, I believe the upside is there and the safety is there at the same time. So I really like taking that play. Secondly, from the same game, I like Morals or Morels, however you say that, over 36.5. Um, the line is three less than Snatchy. It's in the same game, right? Um, so I do believe it stays close. Over the last 10 games, he's averaging actually 23 kills per map. So we can look at his, right? He's averaging 23 kills per map. I believe the game stays close as previously stated. I think the line is way too low for what it should be. And even if we get to that 25, 26 rounds of map, this should hit. Now again, we can look. His past few games have been absolute stomps, 33, 24, 25, 26. And again, we can look, this 25 kill game was a 16-4 map. Um, 24 was a 16-7. Uh, this 24 was a 16-8. Um, so his kills per round has just absolutely been monstrous lately. Um, now, I will have that like in the back of my mind. These are with Illuminar winning the game and I do expect them to lose this. But with that, like with me thinking that it will stay close, I do believe that he has the safety to hit this 36.5 fairly easily. And then my last two players uh, from the other game, um, I have Muterus under 37.5. So his past 10, he's averaging just 17.2 kills per map over the last 10. Um, he has a number that's way too high for my liking on prize picks. I think that these maps stay under 25 rounds, and I think this could be a fairly one-sided matchup, although the odds are fairly close. 
Um, I love taking his under here. Um, we can see, I believe Saw is the favorite, actually, right? Yeah, Saw is the favorite. But we can see, like, he's only hitting, like, 14 kills, even if it goes 26 rounds, right? Um, 17 kills, and this is with 30 rounds. This was, like, the max rounds without overtime. He only got 17 kills. 12 to 16, only 19 kills. 19 to 22. Like, they had double overtime here, and he only got 20 kills. Like, for him to get 37.5, it would basically have to be double overtime in both maps, in my opinion, at least. Um, we can see that they did face off versus each other, the same teams, the other day. Um, this is, I believe, like, three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Um, Saw versus Offset. And they won 16 to 14 the first game. He got 21 kills. Then the second game, they lost 11 to 16. And he got 15 kills. So that would have him at 36 there, which is two under the 37.5 line. And he's progressively played worse since that. Now, of course, he has played really good teams. Fnatic, Big, Fours. So I do understand that. But I feel like his momentum is on a downward trend. And he's playing against a team that he failed to cross this line last time they faced off, which was very recent. Um, so I just really like this under. And then for my last play, it would be on the opposite team and it's Slacks. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? I like him to be over 34.5. And I know with that being said, it's like, oh my God, you're playing the over on the opposite team of who you just took their under. You said you don't think it goes over 25, 26 rounds. Like, how are you, like, you know? But... Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, Slax is averaging 19 kills a game in his last 10, right? So if he got 19 kills in both of these games, that's uh, three over what he needs to cash this line. So his last match was actually versus Saul, right? And if we look at those stats, he actually got 30 kills on map one and 24 kills in map two. Now, Again, this is 27 rounds, 30 rounds. But, I mean, he's actually killing it on this team. Like I said, he's averaging over 19 kills a game in the last 10. And with that being said, I believe that if he goes even 23 rounds a map on average, which the last time they faced off, they did go that many rounds. Um, I think he hits his over, and I think he does it in style. I mean, I think he's going to have multiple three-bomb, four-bomb rounds. Um, I can see him easily hitting this number. I love this over. And I have a little note at the bottom that if you're deciding between Slacks and Muterus because you don't want to take both of them, I prefer Slacks. Now, the main reason for this is just because it's very possible that it goes 27, 28 rounds. But if it does, I still think Muterus hits his under. But obviously, the safer bet of the two would be for Slacks. I'm personally playing all four of these, and I will be round robining them in two man power plays. So I'll have Snatchy and Morals in one power play, Snatchy and Muterus in the next, Snatchy and Slacks in the next, and then I'll do Morals, Muterus, Morals, Slacks, and then finish it up with Muterus and Slacks. So I'm playing literally every combination that I possibly can here with just small units, doing like half a unit on each play. Just because it's a small slate and I don't want to force anything. But then that gives me that upside of if they all hit, hey, I went 4 for 4 for the day. I made quite a bit of units. If only two of them hit, I'm not losing that much. If three of them hit, I'm still profiting. It's no big deal, right? So if Muterus or Slacks like mess up and it's a blowout. So Muterus, this bet hits, but Slacks doesn't go over. Or the opposite, it goes double overtime, slacks hits, but Muterus goes under. I'm still profiting as long as this first map is called correctly. So that's my thought process for this slate. I know it's a small slate, but give me your opinions in the comments down below. We killed it today. I believe we went five for seven. Um, so let's just have a four for four day tomorrow and lead us into IEM, which starts this week on Monday. Very exciting. Uh, let's lead us in the IEM on a positive note. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Hit that like button. Comment down below. I really love reading your comments, um, especially the positive ones.
So uh, I'll see you guys next time. And thank you guys for all the support lately. Thanks, guys.